Good morning viewers and fellow anglers. Um, this is the trip that I spoke about um, at Riverview Lodge, number the second trip. So there was a cold one that was coming in. It made uh, fishing a bit more challenging but enjoyable still. Um, you will see or you will notice that we, the, the quantity of the fish is much less than the previous trip but the quality it's better. Um, there's not a lot of fish that come out but my daughter broke a PB very proud of it lack of fight so guys please enjoy thumbs up uh, subscribe comments you know what to do let's go for it yes <music> Wow! Hehehe! Man,
Good morning viewers and fellow anglers. Just a bit of a recap of what happened the weekend at uh, Riverview Lodge. So when we got there, um, I spoke to Whitey and he said that we were going to have to work a bit more for our fish. Um, and we saw that happening because there was a cold front coming in. Um, you'll see in one of the photos I, um, I posted as well, there is a photo where there's still a lot of ice in the, um, the unhooking um, cradle. Okay guys, so yeah, we, the only thing that worked really for us is we fed 18 and 20 more boilies, mixed particles, and then 14 more boilies as well. So what worked for us is we scaled down on our hook baits. We went for the 14 millimeter krill with a fake maize on it, a yellow fake maize, and then also two small fake maize um, pips, uh, orange on top and a white at the bottom, and that worked for us. So yeah, I think um, the same thing happened last year at uh, Reed Fly Dam. Also, the, the conditions also changed. It was cold, or a cold front came in. And also, as soon as I started scaling down, I started get, getting into the fish. Um, very proud, a shout out to my daughter, Marizai, for breaking a PB. Well done, girl. Um, and then guys, our next adventure will be at Cobb Haven, Swim 1. Looking forward to it. And have a good week. Goodbye.